Um, then this other one, Sioni Jinayake. Sylvia Rue. I don't know that name. It's good to take gifts as long as it's you a daily thing for a relationship. Still following. Nicheze, in case you don't know, Yanyash Najuk. Still waiting for the hip hop hour. Do your best over there, DJ Lily. Russian. Uh -huh. So those are your comments. Thank you so much. Keep sending them in. So right now in studio with me, I have a fashion designer, very talented. I, I get so excited when we have fashion designers on set because the creativity is just amazing. So I will introduce this guy. He will tell us what he does just for a short time and then we will sample his work and then continue with the interview. So how are you? I'm very good. So can you introduce yourself, Utombia, what you do? Sure, sure, I can. Mm -hmm. um, my full names that are on the ID are Davis Olacho Oma, mm -hmm. but I'm well known as the fashion doctor. Mm -hmm. okay. um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and our hospital is known as Mishsije Collections, uh -huh. and the doctor is here himself. Ah. Yeah, we deal with ladies and gent suits, mm -hmm. and also Ankara of both men and women, mm -hmm. and also the senator suits. Well dressed and well known. Senator, senator, suits, <laughs> senator suits are the ones that are well dressed and well known. From uh, the origin of senator suits uh, originated from uh, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It was first worn by a senator mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Then it was well, um, um, well, uh, well known mm -hmm. after it was worn by the president back then in, in uh, Nigeria, mm -hmm. who now popularized it. That's when. That's why it was called senator, senator suits. suits. Yeah. So do you have one of that today? Um, right we don't have one of it today. Uh -huh. I would but, like uh, to see the, the senator <laughs> <suits>. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's basically what we do. Uh -huh. And uh, we basically deal with uh, more of custom made outfits. Mm -hmm. That's what we do uh -huh. in our daily basis. Okay. And so yeah, anyone who's sick fashion wise can come to our hospital. Come to the hospi hospital. <laughs> yes, yes. yes, yes. So we want to see your work first of all before we go on. Sure, and sure. I'd like to ask the models just to come in and showcase what you've got. Sure. And then maybe you can just explain what is okay. going on so, with so, each so, so. every design. Mm -hmm. So there are the models. The models. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can just uh, continue. So this is um, a sleeveless lady suit, mm -hmm. um, which is well done by either a pull neck or a long sleeved uh, top attire, mm -hmm. which is well done by a uh, material done well done trousers highest trousers for the ladies. Mm -hmm. This is a maroon one which well matches with the golden and the brown. Yeah. And the first rule of uh, uh, fashion is that you must not do more, exceed more than three colors. Yeah. You see, so for, for the ladies, you see we have this goldish, uh, goldish sleeveless mm -hmm. which, 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 which goes well with the brown. Mm -hmm. It so much uh, completes the brown. The black, the black top, mm -hmm. black is a neutral color yeah. which can go with anything, anything. anything. So this is a maroon uh, trousers, can go so well with the Oxford um, uh, shoes, mm -hmm. which we did this. This is our work from our hospital Mishiji, <laughs> with the doctor himself. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Lovely. Oh. So right there, mm -hmm. that, that's a lady's uh, top Ankara, mm -hmm. which has its own belt here. Which complements, um, you know, for ladies, what we advise them. You know, we also do advices for fashion. Yeah. One thing that we advise them is that you must dress according to your body. Yeah. You see, like for instance, this outfit mm -hmm. is well done for people who have at least a, 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 a big-bodied kidogo. Yeah. And there are people who are big-bodied, but here at Mish um, CJ Collection, we make sure that we can dress you. You can look nice, however your body size. Yeah. So this uh, belt is to complete the attire so that it doesn't look so free. Yeah. But it, when you remove the belt, you can still have it, have the attire, do it when you, you can do the attire when you still, uh, when you still, uh, for instance, maybe as a pregnant woman, you can mm -hmm. still do the attire that way. Yeah, but if you're well comfortably, yeah. without any struggle. So the orange, uh, the orange Ankara completes so well with the white. Mm -hmm. So does. orange completes so well with the white. And uh, true to our word as Miss CJ collection, we'll do a very nice blue, navy blue, high healed yeah. which has completed the attire itself That's good. That's yeah good. yeah i like that one. thank you so much uh -huh. yeah beautiful stuff thank you so much 
you also need to visit on one of these five days. <laughs> I, I will come <laughs> so to that, that we, hospital. So that we can make sure we deal with all your diseases, fashion-wise. Yes. Yes, yes. So this is a Jan suit. Mm -hmm. um, this is a navy blue, navy blue, navy blue suit. Um, with uh, with the pink, like I told you uh, earlier on, is that the first rule of fashion yeah. is that you might you must not, not exit three, three colors. Yeah. However, the colors you want to do, yes. play with at least three colors. Mm -hmm. Sawa sawa. So we have the navy blue suit, which is the we have the two piece, which is the navy blue, which have the coat and the trousers. Mm -hmm. Then we have the waistcoat, which is pink, which has been well completed and complemented with the tie. Which there are men who are not there are men who are not well conversant in in making ties. So this is called Spanish style. Mm -hmm. This is Spanish, as you can see here clearly for our viewers to see. Well, this is Spanish style, mm -hmm. and uh, for a suit, um, if you do the lapels too much lapel, yeah. you make sure you don't do the pocket square, uh -huh. so that you don't do so much of the accessories. Much so much details. Thank yeah. you so much. So as you can see, the pink has has has, has complemented the pink waistcoat okay. and the and the These light days blue men look sky good blue. In Pink. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how it's uh, no longer the ladies <laughs> it depends color. how you, you play along with the colors yeah. because you can do some things which will which are going to not do so well with you. Mm -hmm. So this is a sky blue shirt which definitely does well with the navy blue suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see these are men's attire, whatever you want, a slim fit suit mm -hmm. which does so well. Again, when it comes to body size, suits we have to do it according to your body yes, size. Right. We can't yeah. just do a suit for you, a slim fit suit which 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 does not complement your body. Mm -hmm. We have to uh, to to be so precise with the body yeah. factor, yeah. Oh, nice. Yes, yes. Nice. To our gents, yeah. Shaskia. Our gents, Shaskia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy shout. Yes, boy yes. Shout. yes, yes. Yes, yes. Thank, so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so you're talking about so much about um about complementing body. So that means, what is the difference? I just want to ask, what is the difference between a fashion designer and a stylist. A designer and a stylist. Um, the difference between a designer and a stylist, mm -hmm. a designer, he does both works. Mm -hmm. First, beginning from uh, making the outfit and also mm -hmm. styling the outfit. Yeah. So the designer does both the uh, custom or the sewing part mm -hmm. and, and also the styling part. Mm -hmm. But a stylist only specifically deals with making sure on how your style looks like. Mm -hmm can advise you what are you going to dress, dress this and this, mm -hmm. this will match and this, this and this will match. Yeah. But the designer does the whole, the whole package, yeah. the whole package of mending the outfit or if not mending, bringing the outfit to you. Yeah. So he does the full package telling you this and this are going to do so well, mm -hmm. this and this are not going to work so well with you. But a stylist specifically deals on mm -hmm. advising you what to, what wear. to wear. Correct. So I just want to release our models so thank that you they so can much. go have a change of clothes. Okay, thank you so Simo. much. Thank you so, much. Um, so which one are you? Both um, or just? Uh, which one am I? I'm mm -hmm. both. I'm mm -hmm. a designer and a stylist. Can you be you one? Like. Um, I can't be one because we are falling shortage of both. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean we are falling shortage of because, both? Because uh, let, let me, let me, let me, just allow me to use the hospital. When you go to the hospital, uh -huh. you don't go to be, to be, to be, to be treated specifically for certain disease. Yeah, they you treat everything. You go for full checkup. You see? Yes, yeah. So we call ourselves. I, I think we are lucky to call ourselves the only fashion hospital in Kenya. <laughs> do we say? Hey, okay, I'm telling yeah, yeah, yeah. you. So, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so when you come to a hospital, you must get the full package of treatment. Yeah. So that's why we decided to have the full package of both the designing and the stylist part of it. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have to do all of them because you have many clients who come to us. Someone doesn't know what to wear or mm -hmm. what to do well with what to do what. So you have to give them all of that because they've come to your hospital mm -hmm. to get full treatment. But you know, um, in this in our country. Um, even in my perception, uh -huh. only celebrities have stylists. Uh -huh. It's very hard to maintain, yeah. like, a fashion designer, I go get my dress and everything, and then still maintain someone who constantly mm -hmm. advises me on what to wear. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about that? So if I'm just a normal person, uh -huh. I have this amount of money yeah. for my suit or uh -huh. for, my, for my Ankara or true, whatever, true, true. but I still want that advice. Mm -hmm. But I don't have so much money to get that advice on a constant basis. So first of all, I'd like to 
applaud the fact that you've said uh, in Kenya right now, mm -hmm. um, it's so hard to find a normal person, someone who's in the normal uh, yeah, uh, just class of, of, of a normal citizen to afford um, a designer or a stylist, a permanent stylist, yeah. and also a designer at the same time. But what we do ourselves mm -hmm. is that when you come to our to our to our hospital to be treated, mm -hmm. fashion-wise, we have to make sure that we treat you in line because we can't give you a half package. That's why I told you we do both design and stylist. Mm -hmm. We don't charge for stylist. Mm -hmm. When you come to get our our commodities and outfits, oh. we will not charge you for mm -hmm. the stylist aspect of it. Mm -hmm. You'll come. We'll give you free fashion advice, yeah. free of oh, charge. Nice. The consultation is very <laughs> much free. When I feel she's busy too, like. <laughs> I, I, I I'm, I'm planning I, to. I, I, I think I'm doing a consultation already. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Just, uh, get the <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, who are your clients mostly? Um, mostly, uh, we we don't. Uh, basically, my my dream <laughs> when I began this uh, work, for instance, is to 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 deal with every kind of persons, mm -hmm. both lower class, middle class, and the high class. So, to answer your question, is that. Everyone is our client, yeah. from low to mm. middle and high class. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in, 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 our, in our collection uh, shop, we don't limit ourselves to certain classes yeah, certain of people, people, you see. Mm -hmm. because, uh, because, you see, the people that you might look down to, mm -hmm. people are going to take, to take the, your, the co business. your collection and your business into another level. Yeah. So we don't limit ourselves to certain classes or certain rigid uh, class of people. Yes. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. We have everyone, as long as you get into our door, we will serve you. Yeah. So e every class of persons, we do serve them. That's good news. Yeah. That's some good news. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we are not so limited to a certain class. I'd like you to give us a range of prizes okay. for the suits, for the Ankara. Mm. Like, how much, if I wanted to get maybe, for example, the suit that was just here, okay. how much money do I need? So, we have a wide range. So, the ranges of the suit are from uh, 6500 mm -hmm. to 40000 depending on the material. Wow. 40. Depending on the material. Yeah. What? She thought it was like pizza. <laughs> 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 pizza, you, pizza, you go to the toilet, my friend. This is what you wear hey. for the rest of your life. 40, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Let me, what are you doing? So, 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 so let, let me explain to her. You know, uh -huh. she might not really understand. Uh -huh. The 40,000 is not for the designer to go and pocket. Yeah. The 40,000, uh -huh. it's for the sake of the uh, materials and also the design. For instance, there are materials which go per meter. Mm -hmm. They will charge you for a meter of that material which uh, costs 40,000 the full attire. Here it charges like 6,000 or 10,000 per meter, for instance. And you need like three to four meters to yeah. do a suit for a guy. So how much am I going to charge you then? God, that's a lot of money. So you see, we've not even bought the inner uh, finishes, we've not done the finishes itself. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you find in the pricing and the planning of everything from the process number one to the last one, mm -hmm. you must uh, be accountable for every coin, yeah. meaning that you must have a, a, a very fair and moderate pricing. Mm -hmm. In fact, we are very, we are very, we are very, You're very fair. affordable. <laughs> well, the same suit that will charge you forty thousand. Uh -huh. um, I don't want to mention names. If you walk to some of the of the of the of the established collections and mm -hmm. and designer shops, you'll find them are going to up to a million. There's a shop a in, suit for there's a, a shop in Kenya, in town here, charging a suit worth one million. Yeah. Okay. And they are, and it is so much when they give you the, the, the factual uh, facts of making the outfit, yeah. it's very factual. The breakdown. The breakdown of everything. Uh -huh. So it all depends on the material and the design. Is this inclusive of accessories, like Correct. the lapel, yeah, the pocket square? It includes the accessories. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, the lapel, tie, pocket square. <laughs> with a, with <laughs> like a million, why would you wear such a suit? Uh, you'd wear such a suit because of the level that you are in in a society. Mm -hmm. For no, instance, I, let's, I think let's I'd wear it on a red carpet, <laughs> and I know I'm gonna receive an award. Yes, of <laughs> uh, yes, you see, for instance, of course, if we take a very good example of someone like our, our great president, his mm -hmm. Excellency, uh, oh yeah, Uhuru Kenyatta, he does not just wear cheap, um, cheap suits suit. because yeah. he's a, he's he's the uh, the public figure, the the the, 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 public the, the number one, the middle figure of Kenya. Yeah, wherever he goes, people look up to him as mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. So he must dress to a certain standard yeah for instance someone like a, a, a high notch lawyer mm -hmm. like my my good cousin orango <laughs> he must make sure that he does dress a very excellent suit yes yes yeah, so it, it 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 you must wear that you will wear that kind of an expensive suit because of your level of class in the society number two you are your 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 nature of work mm -hmm. there are people whom their nature of work does not allow them to do simple or cheap suits simple suits. Yeah, they must and do. you can tell a cheap suit yeah you can tell i can tell if someone walks in here, I can tell you the worthness of that suit. 
Because okay. I believe this suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. I also think a suit is a suit. Maybe we don't. That's, I think it's the same thing that happens to ladies. I can tell that. Mm -hmm. That pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know the red bottoms. Yeah. I can tell that's an expensive pair of shoes. Yes, yes. So maybe from a lady's perspective, we would not really understand whether a, a suit is expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the guys and everyone here. Yeah. So who is who? Who is that pers one person that you look up to in terms of you doing your work uh, internationally or maybe just locally? Um, I have. First of all, I love respecting home. Mm -hmm. um, I really honor the great designers who came before me. Yeah. The likes of Vince Cleese, wherever you are, bro, big up. The guy, he's been my mentor for a while now. Mm -hmm. We have Brio. The guy ditched his um, uh, cultural science profession, which is a to brilliant do man to, to do design, to focus on design. Um, mm -hmm. The likes of Nimrod Nick, big up, bro. Um, the likes of many more, Mr. Royalty in Kenya, we have many more designers who are really working so hard to take the design Kenya, mm -hmm. the fashion and design industry in Kenya to another level. Another, yeah. yeah. So in Kenya, the, the one person who really uh, motivates me and mentors me is mm -hmm. Vince Cleese. Yeah. Yeah. And internationally, I told you I'm proud to be African. <laughs> I'm so proud to be black and African. Uh -huh. So my mentors are African purely. Yeah. So my mentor internationally is from South Africa. Mm -hmm. He's called Mency Makon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a very great guy. Mm -hmm. Go check out his outfit. That guy is is a designer on another level. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. a designer on another level. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so basically, that's it. Mm -hmm. I have two main mentors. We have uh, Menzi McClone. Mm -hmm. Then we have number two Vince Cleese from Kenya. Okay. Yeah. So this is something that you do not study for professionally. You studied law. Yeah. How do those things? <laughs> like it's something on two different worlds. <laughs> yeah. True that. True that. Um, first of all, one thing I want you to understand is that. We have two, in a, in a, in a human being's life, mm -hmm. we have two areas of specialization. We have the professional part of specialization and the, and the passionate part pa of yeah. spe specialization. So on my passionate side of specialization, I, from the day I was born, from the day I was a kid, I loved looking nice. I loved looking nice. I will do whatever it takes to just look outstanding and nice. Mm -hmm. So I grew up loving fashion. And I'm so grateful to my mom, wherever you are, mom, I love you so much. I'm so grateful to her because she's the one who hold my arm mm -hmm. to this industry. Yeah. So she didn't knew, she didn't know I'm, I'm sorry. She didn't know that she was holding my hand to the next level in, yeah. this, in this industry. So slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, before I knew it, here we are now. Here All we that are. is history and water under the bridge. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there are so many designers out there. What would make me decide that I don't want all these other designers? I just want to go to Mish CJ. One what thing, makes you unique? In what, other what makes us unique in uh, in, in in this industry mm -hmm. is uh, the first thing is that we don't focus on ordinary. We don't focus on. What do you mean you don't focus on ordinary? <laughs> Let me explain to you. I'm coming here. <laughs> we don't focus to ordinary. Uh -huh. We don't focus to good. We focus to first excellence mm -hmm. and number two outstanding. Yeah. Any client who comes to us, we have to make sure that it's not. Let people don't uh, mistake being looking uh, classy and being proud. Yeah. We want to make sure that when we dress you, anywhere you bypass, anyone you bypass, mm -hmm. they must look behind and just confirm. Hey, they will notice. They will you. notice. They, like they'll turn heads. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So one thing we believe in and why you should come to get suits or Ankara outfits from us is that we believe in excellence mm -hmm. and outstanding stuff. Not ordinary, not good. We look up to extraordinary uh -huh. and excellence. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, in the morning conversation, we were talking about: Is it right for you to give to receive a gift or give gifts to to receive a gift from someone you're not interested in? Would you make a not a suit, maybe just a dress, a nice dress <laughs> for me? And you know clearly, I'm not interested in you. Would you do that? And do you expect me to receive that gift? Or what? What's your take on that? <laughs> hey, you're putting me between the heart <laughs> and the rock, man. <laughs> I was avoiding the topic so much. So my take on, on that is that, you see, if you look at these five arms, mm -hmm. they don't look alike. Mm -hmm. They don't look alike. Yeah. This is small. Mm -hmm. It has its own uh, purpose. Yeah. This is the same, all the five, the five They're different. fingers. They're different. Yeah. So on, the pers on that perspective, there, is, there are two kind of people. Mm -hmm. There are two kind of ladies. There's this one lady 
who will not accept the gift from the word go because she's not interested in you so is she not interested in anything you give yes and there is number two this other kind of lady who will accept what you're giving them but their main agenda is that they don't want you mm -hmm. they don't want anything to do with you get what i'm saying yeah so what i believe we can just base our facts on this two kind of people mm -hmm. but why are we why are we talking about ladies only do you know even guys get gifts of course guys get gifts mm -hmm. um it, right now it's a two-way thing mm -hmm. but in accordance let me not go out of there of, of context in accordance to your discussion in the morning mm -hmm. is what has been happening per se yeah the killings yeah, they recently yes. mm -hmm. you see what has been happening mm -hmm. is in regard to ladies what has been happening and, and i'm a man i'm not trying to be biased or something yeah but 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 uh there are different kind of people um show or express their different kind of emotions in different ways mm. there are those who think buying gifts not think they know buying gifts to ladies or that doing will good make stuff them to them love you. will lure them and will cause them to love you mm -hmm. and you know what what has caused that is because the wrong perception that has been hovering around the society now that ladies uh, thrive on the false life in Instagram false life on Facebook I want to tell you my beautiful sisters out there is that what is being put there on instagram it's no one sure. no one will put their real life what they no, do yeah, the hard true. thing there like myself when Pl you go please tell when, them when, when just you go tell to them our, they need to, our, to hear when you go to our instagram page <laughs> when, you go, <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah, when you go to our instagram page uh -huh. you won't find any flaws of us as machine yeah. collections mm -hmm. why do we do that mm -hmm. that's just a mirror mm -hmm. it's nothing it's nothing that's a mirror. That's not a person. That's a mirror. Mm -hmm. When that mirror is taken out there, the real person remains. Mm -hmm. So what I want to tell these guys, don't live a life of fantasy. Just live in accordance to your level. Yes. If you are a lady, you can afford a chips worth 70 shillings. Mm -hmm. Go eat that. Go eat that. Don't, yeah. don't, 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 don't think that you want a guy who's going to buy you a chips worth 50,000. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Because in anything that you get, there is a there is a price something. to pay. Yeah. There is a price to pay. Remember, everything is a price to pay. So remember, mm -hmm. if you take that drink of that guy, or if you take that car of that guy, even if in your mindset you are not going to date this guy, my friend will go pay for it. Yes, it will not go just like that. Yes, you will pay well, well. Mm. Well true said. Yes, true. Hallelujah. Very true. Hallelujah. <laughs> they, they, I'm sure Hallelujah. they had. Yeah, that's, that's the truth. <laughs> I'm that's sure they had. Um, affecting our society now. Yeah. yeah. The mm. young society more so. Mm -hmm. Most of them don't want to work hard. Yes, that's the problem. Very true. You want cheap things, and they have a price to pay. They, they do. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I'd like you. I'd like you to tell us or tell the audience where they can find you on social media, so that we can just view the last design. Okay, sour sour. Mm -hmm. You can find us on Instagram at Mish CJ Collection. Um, in Facebook, you can find us ER Photography underscore Mish CJ Collections. Mm -hmm. Then uh, on Twitter, Mish CJ Collections. And uh, if you want to visit us, you can go and find more details on Instagram and Facebook. And our contacts are also there. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I'm being reminded of something. What, what, how do you, ju you know, studying law is not easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. <laughs> That's like. You have to come there. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me I have to. Okay, no How do you problem. juggle the, the law and designing? It's considering that you built uh, the company from scratch. Uh, it's not easy, number one, because nothing comes the easy way. Um, one thing I want to assure guys out there who have dreams, most of young people, yeah. um, is that you can never get your success or your purpose if you're just seated on your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. One thing I always say is that the only limit you have in your life is yourself. It's true. When you get to a point and you say this is enough, that will be enough. So myself, I must create time for fashion mm -hmm. and also okay, school. Yeah. You see, school I have to be there full time. It's a full time studies mm -hmm. at KU Law School. Mm -hmm. I have to be there full time. And I have to create time for business to make sure that I don't disappoint my clients. Yeah. So definitely it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And definitely nothing comes the easy way. Nothing comes at a silver platter. Yes. You must go for it. You must work hard. So it's not, it's not easy. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's not easy. Mm -hmm. But I have to. I don't have any other option. Mm -hmm. I must balance all of them. Because mm -hmm. all of them need equal attention. Yeah. Yeah. So as we wind up, what are your future plans? Uh, my future plans is to, uh, number one, is to begin or start up a fashion and design school mm -hmm. to 
bring up or you know the society now we are diversified and art is taking up very fast so we want to end this kakuna that fashion and design is just another job for lazy do bums no 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 yeah. it's a well paying job now in the society so i want it to start is. up a fashion and design school a serious one of that matter mm -hmm. that even parents can bring their the the children, their children out of yeah. secondary school and be confident be that confident that indeed they're going to do a will, profession will will employ like they'll, they'll self employ correct correct yeah. and they will sell and they'll get the money that they were to get that a lawyer out there a doctor out there mm -hmm. uh, a business person out there will get yes why because it's now a part and parcel of the society mm -hmm. get what i'm saying mm -hmm. so number one is to open up a fashion and design school number two we want to i want to to try and 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 and, and uh, open up to the upcoming designers because myself uh, i think i think i'm the youngest designer now mm -hmm. people like akina vince Wait, how old are you? <laughs> 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 really <laughs> What did you just ask? Uh, how old are you when I'm, you say I'm, you're the youngest? I'm old enough. Okay. I'm old enough. Okay, I'll, I'll just let that <laughs> yes, go. Yes, I'm old enough. So, uh -huh. so there are these young people who come who have great ideas. If you listen to them, their mm -hmm. design ideas, they're just mind blown. Amazing. But they don't have someone to, 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 like, to like give them the platform. Like someone said previously, the spoken word guy, uh, is that they don't have the platform. People will utilize them. And if they're these big uh, designers, which happens in all fields, uh, the people who've already made it, very few of them will want to hold arms of this upcoming. Yes. Most of them will want to oppress them so that they can be in the, industry, yeah, in the industry for long. Mm -hmm. But one thing I want to tell these uh, people who are already in the industry for too long is that if you mentor one or two or three people mm -hmm. if that person goes to goes higher let's say in the in a, in a level level number three mm -hmm. definitely you won't be in the same level with them yes. you'll be in level number five mm -hmm. not even your in legacy the sense, continues actually. exactly that's what you're talking about so mentorship uh, in every field any it's field important. you must make sure that you mentor these upcoming people it's true. because if you are a designer today for myself I'm a designer today mm -hmm. if I don't mentor these upcoming uh, designers who's how is the uh, this, uh, fashion and design legacy going to move to go on to the next generation it won't, it won't unless and until we yeah. hold arms of these others well, so yeah. we need to do a, a, a school mm -hmm. we need to hold arms of this upcoming fashion and design and mm -hmm. I need us now mm -hmm. as a fashion and design industry to end the importation of outfits from outside. Yeah. We in Kenya, we, are, we have the capability. We have capable fashion and designers and tailors in Kenya who can do outfits here, custom made, nice outfits. Very nice outfits. Nice outfits. Like we have just seen. Correct. Yes. Correct. Ah, and you're going to you. again see. Yes. So let's, 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 I want, I'm trying to, uh, if, uh, of course, with my position as, as a law student, mm -hmm. when I'm done, I'm going to, 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 to try as hard as to possible. Even, to even make sure that it is passed as a, as a bill in the parliament into mm -hmm. a law. So wow. that we don't import outfits from outside. Yeah. We have the capability, man. Yes. We have good. capable tailors in Kenya. I see you have big dreams. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> big dreams. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. That I think that is, we cannot even put it in any other words. You've mm -hmm. given us everything we yeah. wanted to know. And I'm sure, especially now that people are they are on holidays mm -hmm. they have had yeah and that is an inspiration yes yes yeah, so thank you so much for coming thank you so, so much so we want to view the last outfits most obliged so that's the lady suit mm -hmm. a lady's two-piece suit um two-piece suit for the ladies um, who said ladies can't rock suits? I know. Uh, so this is. I'm uh, even thinking about. <laughs> it. <laughs> you need to come and visit us one of these fine days. Uh? Uh -huh. uh, this is a lady suit, which uh, which um, we have the new upcoming uh, trouser designs. Mm -hmm. If you can, if you can, if you can see, uh, let me view to the viewers that we are bringing and introducing in the fashion industry in Kenya. The new design here. Yeah. We need to remove the buttons from from the norm yeah. to a different place here. Okay. So uh, this is what we're trying to bring up in Kenya now. So for the ladies, is that uh, the the the, the uh, uh, navy blue suit, mm -hmm. two-piece suit, which can blend so well with the white uh, white interior top, 
and like you ask the accessory yeah. we have the accessory for ladies here. I love accessories then we have the pocket so. square here for the mm -hmm. ladies so um, the kakuna so of, ladies can rock yeah, suits yeah 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 very well uh -huh. very amazingly well so that is the suit itself and like I told you the interior of different we have different interior of the linings we have this kind of lining the flourish lining mm -hmm. we have the plain linings we have different linings dotted linings mm -hmm. so if a lady wants a suit and they think it's just a normal suit that they get uh -huh. out there we can make you look outstanding in a suit yeah. at Miss CJ Collections. Okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. So this is the ladies' palazzo pants, mm -hmm. the Ankara palazzo pants. As you can see, uh, the ones that we import from outside, they don't look like this. They Proud being they African. Don't. They don't. <laughs> Proud being African, yeah. So this is the Ankara palazzo, palazzo pants, which can do so high waist palazzo pants, which can do so well with any, bo any, any person's body size, yeah. depending on how we take your measurements. Mm -hmm. You don't need to go out there and get palazzos when they spoil it. No, no. And I, and I, and I, they, okay. they, 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 they disorient it so much. So you need to just come to us, we take your measurements, and we do a very nice palazzo pants outfit for you, mm -hmm. which can go so well with white, which can go well with maroon, which can go well with uh, with the, with the, with the, with the, with black. Mm -hmm. So any kind of any kind of color which can blend well, we mm -hmm. can give you an advice of the same. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone, palazzo pants, we have them here. You can so never nice. go wrong. You can never go wrong with Mish CJ collections. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much. For um, coming for the interview. Thank you so we much. We appreciate you making time. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get treated fashion wise, then you know the place to go. Definitely. So we are taking a sharp musical break, but we will be back with more of.